Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. The situation here on Avalanche reminds me a little bit of Cardano. We will discuss what I mean by there and of course we will make a technical analysis. Before we continue, join the monthly subscription. I have the link in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You will get easy, easy profits with an automated and a manual system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell your altcoins. You will also get market updates, personal guidance every day, educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis, random giveaways, and many, many more benefits. Join in, cancel anytime you like. Also join our Telegram group chat, hit the like button and subscribe if you like the content. Let's go right now a little bit on Avalanche. This is the last support level. If you draw the FIB from this bottom right here, 21st September, ending up to this top around 23rd, this is the last support level on Avalanche, okay, before we go down. But will we go down or will we remain around this area right here where we are and then go upwards? We will discuss everything, do not worry about that. The MACD, as you can see, is having some lower highs, lower lows. Right now, it doesn't look good as it seems like from this point, 12 September, you can see on the four hour frame, we were seeing the MACD Burris RSI divergence. MACD actually RSI divergence, not R, uh, no, MACD divergence, not RSI divergence. Okay, here I got it. So we had the MACD divergence, not RSI divergence, and we had lower highs on the MACD, you can see that, and higher highs on the avalanche all right so therefore we expected the avalanche price to drop a little bit to have a correction you can see right now we are on the 58 tether usd around there finding support level now we are around 60 tether usd and we want to see the future okay because on the four hour frame you will see that we are near a pretty much of an oversold situation our size near the 30 uh the commodity channel index is very very low but in the normal numbers again in the default settings between minus 100 the bottom line and 100 the top line and you can see that the stochastic rsi is in an oversold situation now it's going upwards we are not seeing stochastic rsi for now okay we are not seeing this indicator we are mostly seeing commodity channel index and the rsi fisher transform transform of course is a very very strong risk metric however right now you can see it is not in an extreme oversold situation but anyway we are going to go to the daily frame maybe there we are going to have some more important stuff right there you can see that the commodity channel index on the daily is below minus 100 this is good this is good that the commodity channel index went below minus 100 but avalanche remains its position you can see on the daily we have the stochastic rsa in an oversold situation as well you can see that we are in an oversold but on the fisher transform we are going there pretty pretty soon so yes we are going in a nice oversold situation let's open up a little bit the sl hybrid in case we have something not a buying opportunity yet as you can see according to the sl hybrid we do not hold any any buying opportunity yet okay so in any case we should not have any buying opportunity let's see a little bit the weekly frame as well on the weekly frame you can see that we have a very very high risk okay and we should be extremely extremely careful for avalanche we should not make any roughly uh, any actually reckless uh movement right there and we should not fomo in all our money into one price and we should be trading carefully but i will go to avalanche bitcoin chart and this is what it reminds me of ada you can see avalanche bitcoin chart is going all the way down all the way down heavy correction right there for avalanche bitcoin chart 40 percent correction okay from 23rd september that is a huge correction and we won't see where we are right now we are on avalanche bitcoin chart you can see we are we're in an extreme extreme oversold situation with the rsi below 30 for quite some time right there and all the risk metrics below their normal numbers except the commodity channel index that right now went a little bit be above the minus 100 but in overall we have an extreme oversold let's go on the daily frame on the daily frame we might be getting further little bit downwards we will see about that zone 
maybe, maybe the daily RSI approaches the 30. By the time we have a very, very strong uh, oversold situation, I will tell you right now we have a strong oversold, not an extreme, but a very strong oversold situation on the daily frame as well. You can see that even the Fisher transform is below minus two. So yeah, maybe, maybe we will soon see Avalanche outperforming Bitcoin and this will be huge. We can go now to the price analysis and of course this will be huge Avalanche outperforming Bitcoin and therefore we expect maybe to be approaching a bottom on the short term. Okay, maybe, maybe we are expecting that we will go from there in the next few hours, in the next few days, we will be going upwards. And of course, do not forget to join the master subscription and learn technical analysis. I have the link in the description down below, just a parenthesis, so you can get easy profits and you can learn technical analysis. Let's go and go quickly onto the avalanche. Right now, you can see that this might be the lowest support level. Let's assume that we have this as a bottom. Okay, we might be getting a little bit lower i'm not assuming for now that this is the bottom for sure but let's assume that this is the bottom you can see that we have some strong resistance levels here as well on the 68 between 68 and 69 and so on so we have some multiple resistance levels right there for avalanche in the usdt and right now you can see that the first one is a 62 to 63 around their uh, resistance levels okay so we have these resistance levels right there and i am expecting avalanche because of bitcoin chart right here to outperform bitcoin okay i'm expecting avalanche to start outperforming Bitcoin, but be careful on how and when you trade because on the weekly frame, as I told you before, actually on the Avalanche USDT, we have almost an extreme overbought. Okay, so on the weekly frame, we have a very high risk as well. So you should be a little bit careful, but on the four hour frame, on the short term, we might be getting a nice, nice, very nice swing high. First target will be around 62 to 63, 66, 66, 68 actually to 69 to 70 tether USD and so on. Okay, we have even the 0 0.618, 71 tether USD. Apart from that, be careful, but I do expect Avalanche to start outperforming Bitcoin, therefore to get even higher. You can see now Bitcoin is going a little bit down, not something that we should be worried about. Of course, on the daily frame though, we have a very, very high risk the daily RSI went above the 70, that's why now we are going a little bit down, but in overall, we might be going like that, okay, and we do not care about it. We might be having a nice impulsive wave mode, impulsive wave pattern for Bitcoin, and therefore this will help Avalanche get even, even higher, because as you can see, I am expecting Avalanche to start outperforming Bitcoin and go to the next price targets, which are the 62 to 63, 66, 68 to 69, and of course, the 71 Tether USD. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. And of course, see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.